In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get started with the Vector Portrait Project. This is a very challenging project, harder than anything we've done so far. A lot of steps, a lot of detail, and you have to get started properly. You want to set the foundation right. Get your document and everything set up. You don't want to skip steps. I see students do it all the time, not name layers, not create layers, just think oh, I can wing it. You don't want to wing this assignment. This is a multi-step challenging project. Okay, so take your time and follow along with me here. You want to open up Illustrator and create a new document. We're going to go to Art and Illustration. You can pick any size. It doesn't really matter because we're going to change it over here. So you can click on the first one. That's fine. We want to label this your period number. So, for example, period one underscore and then your last name and first initial, then underscore again in the name of the project, vector portrait. Okay, so period number, last name, first initial, name of the assignment. We want to switch to inches. Most portraits are common portrait size, like when you get school pictures or something, it's an eight by 10, right? Get an eight by 10 headshot. However, we're gonna upload this to Behance and eight inches is too small when it's exported for Behance. So we're just gonna double it. We're gonna do 16 by 20, right? And this is a portrait, so we're going to go with portrait. If you want to do landscape, let me know later, okay? Or ask me and, and I'll give you the okay maybe. All right, I'm gonna click Create. And that is going to open this up. I'm gonna hit Option, or actually Command Zero, to center my artboard. Now we need to bring in some work or bring in our uh, picture that you're going to trace. So hopefully you have a high quality, high resolution photo. We're going to do file and place or shift command P is a shortcut. File place. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to navigate towards where I have my photo saved. You should have a folder for this project called Vector Portrait inside your Google Drive. I have mine on the desktop just because I don't have a Google Drive folder set up like I did for you guys. So Vector Portrait and here is my image. We're going to, luckily Mrs. Hayes was kind enough to uh, let me use a photo of her for this demo. So I have Mrs. Hayes selected, and I want to uncheck the link box right here. I don't want to link it just in case you delete it or rename it, it gets really confusing. So we want to be permanently embedded in our project. So make sure that link is unchecked. I'm gonna hit place, and I'm just gonna click anywhere on my screen because I'm gonna to have to move it. Now here's where it gets tricky. All right, so I place Mrs. Hayes on my artboard your image hopefully is bigger than the artboard. Mine's a little bit smaller, not quite high resolution enough. You're going to have to think creatively, right? Use your critical thinking skills. How are you going to best place yourself within the artboard? I'm going to command minus just to zoom out, just to show you in case yours is bigger, right? What you want to do is kind of line up a top corner of where you want it to be. And maybe you don't want that very top corner. Maybe you have a bunch of extra stuff. Whatever it is, you just kind of have to line it up. I'm going to stretch mine, but proportionally. So I'm holding shift, right? And I'm stretching it proportionally to get it bigger. And I'm going to do something like that. You may have to proportionally shrink yours holding shift. You can have some of the photo out here in the scratch area. That's fine. Just get the part that you want in your portrait inside the artboard inside these black lines. If stuff hangs out, that's fine. I'm gonna hit Command Zero to go back. I don't want this to be called Layer One. I want to think smart. I want to um, pay attention to what I'm doing and be organized. So I'm gonna double click on the words Layer One and this is my reference photo. Okay, so reference. Now we want to help illust use Illustrator to help us cheat, to help us identify where the shadows, highlights, and possible midtones of our portrait are to create form, 
create depth with our image. So in order to do that, we need to have two copies of this image, one that we keep normal for pen tooling and one that we use just to show us where shadows, highlights, and midtones are. So I'm going to click on this layer that I just created. I'm going to drag down to the new layer icon and let go, and it's going to duplicate it. I don't want this called um, reference copy anymore. I'm going to double click on it and call this um, posterize. posterized. I'm going to lock my reference photo. All right? I'm going to lock that layer. I'm going to click on my posterized layer and I'm going to make sure I'm clicked on the picture itself. I can see it's selected. My bounding box shows up. I'm going to come up to effect. Artistic. And poster edges. Now this is a season to taste and I can hit command zero to have Mrs. Hayes fit into my frame. My settings are 212. I want to see shadows, highlights, and skin tone. Depending on how yours is lit, yours may be lit better, it may be, or more likely lit worse, you may have to adjust posterization, all right? So you may have to go to the left or to the right depending on how yours is lit. I want mine something like this, highlights, skin tone, shadows, okay? I'm gonna click okay. It's gonna posterize, I'm going to lock that layer. I have my layers locked. I don't want these to ever move, okay? I, you notice I have, if I try to draw on it or grab it, I can't, it's blocked out. That's good, you don't wanna be halfway through tracing and it moves on you, right? So that gets us set up for now. We got a good start. Let's save our document. File, save as. You should save this into your Google Drive, into the folder that you created called Vector Portrait. If you don't have one, go to Google Drive, go to your class folder, click New Folder and Create It. I'm already where mine's supposed to be. You can see here, Vector Portrait. I have my file name from before, and I'm gonna click Save. And that gets us a good foundation. That gets us the base of our portrait set up so we can start illustrating and doing something awesome.